hydrogen reacts with oxygen to form water. And we saw the reason why this chemical equation is unbalanced. The number of oxygen atoms on the left is not equal to the number of oxygen atoms on the right. The important question is, can we balance this equation? The answer is yes. Let's go step by step and see how we can balance it. As the first step, it's always a good idea to draw boxes around each element or compound, like this. Why did we draw these boxes? It's because nothing inside the boxes can be changed or altered when we are balancing the equation. You'll understand better soon. Next, we form a table like we've already drawn here. This row in the table tells us that the number of atoms of oxygen on the reactant side is not equal to that on the product side. It's two on the left and one on the right. So let's try balancing the oxygen atoms first. As there's one oxygen atom on the right and two on the left, we multiply H2O with two. What we have here is a partially balanced equation. The number of oxygen atoms on the right is two and that on the left is also two. Also remember that you cannot alter the formulae of compounds or elements involved in the reaction which means that to balance the oxygen atoms, we cannot change H2O and write it as H2O2. This would be incorrect. Let's go back to the partially balanced equation. The number of oxygen atoms on each side is balanced now. But what about hydrogen? When we multiplied this compound with 2, what happened? The number of oxygen atoms were equal on each side. But what about hydrogen atoms? The number of hydrogen atoms on the right became 4. And what's the number of hydrogen atoms on the left? It's 2. So how do you think we can balance the hydrogen atoms now? We can multiply the hydrogen on the left hand side with 2 to get this. Is the equation balanced now? Absolutely. We can form the table and verify it. This is what you'll get. So we simply multiply the appropriate elements or compounds as necessary to balance each and every element. When all elements are balanced, we say that the chemical equation is balanced. Easy, wasn't it? Why don't you try balancing this chemical equation? You'll see the solution in the next part of the lesson.